Welcome to Bunny Fish Crafts. I'm your host, Heather, known as Bunny Fish on Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Today is Monday, the 26th of January, 2022, and this is episode four for the year. How are you? This is my first clip of the week, so clearly I've had some stuff going on. Uh, on Monday, I had to substitute in a second grade classroom, which was exhausting. And then we got I, something like four inches of snow. So I canceled my class because it started falling probably around one o'clock, maybe two o'clock. I don't know. I don't know when. No, actually it snowed all day. It oh. snowed all day, but um, plows weren't out. And when we drove home from school, the roads were terrible. So I called and canceled my class for Monday, which is when I normally record my first clip with you. But instead, here we are on Wednesday. And then I wrote notes. Oh, <laughs> and then yesterday was just a really long day. I walked more than double my step goal. So by the time I got home, I was just too tired to, to do anything. I think I just sat in this rocking chair for like 30 minutes and literally did nothing. I tried to listen to an audiobook, didn't make it to the end of my chapter. It was a 40 minute chapter. Um, but something I did do yesterday is I finished my nephew's knit mittens before school. So he wore them and on the way in the door after school, I took a picture. So I will insert it right here. And he likes them. They're very fluffy. He's excited about them. He was telling me how much the dog likes them this morning. So that is a win. Um, those were made using World Simplest Mittens Pattern by Tin Can Knits and Cascade 220 Superwash Merino with alpaca fiber. I would not recommend, if you're going to thrum something, I would not recommend alpaca because it's slippery and also it leaves a giant halo unless that's what you're going for. If you want something that makes like a super fuzzy something then alpaca is great but um, a merino or a cordale would be much better choices if you're going to thrum a project. World Simplest Mittens is not a thrummed pattern. I just um, taught myself how to thrum last year about this time so I just made him a pair too because he had borrowed my mittens and he really, really liked them because they're soft and fuzzy and cozy. And then, okay, so now we're to today. And oh, I'm using, you can't see it. I'm pointing to it. You might, you probably, you can see it in my glasses. It is what it is. I cannot record without my glasses because I am blind. So, um, do you remember if you've been here? that Haley got me a ring light for Christmas time. And this is the first time I'm using it. So hopefully the color and stuff is good. I tried to do some testing with it, but um, the light is shining in your face. So you can only kind of see what's going on. Um, so yeah, I hope the color is good. If you have been around for a while, you know that lighting is something I struggle with in my house a lot. We have a lot of windows. They are not optimal for letting in good lighting for podcasting. <laughs> so anyway, um, today can I, I know we haven't gotten to much knitting yet, but can I tell you one more thing? So yesterday, Patrick, my boyfriend got a package and I was like, this seems like a, a weird package, but okay. I don't remember off the top of my head what, what it said on the outside. And uh, today was garbage day, so we already recycled it. Um, but I gave him the, the box this morning because he works overnight right now. And he, he was like, oh, this is for you. He ordered a little book club membership for my classroom. Like, the whole point is for us to get two new books every month. How cute is that? I love it so much. 
Uh, I'm super excited and the kids were super excited this morning. Um, I am a special education paraprofessional, so it's, that's what I do during the daytime. Um, yeah, so let's talk knitting. I have done a bit of progress since I checked in with you on Sunday. First up, this is my super, sorry, covering my face, my super shorty sock. It's a pattern by me and um, this is where I was when I showed you on Sunday. We went to the gym yesterday. We went to the gym. Oh, I forgot my knitting yesterday when we went to the gym, but we went to the gym today and then um, I needed just some really simple knitting at work as I was walking laps. So yeah, I'm about halfway finished with the whole sock because if you remember the first sock, I end with red on the toe and these are matching. So I'm about halfway through, which is exciting. And then I think I'm trying to decide if I want to cast on a pair of socks for Patrick because I do want to do 12 pairs this year or if I want to pass cast on a kiddo sock. I'm thinking I'm going to cast on a kiddo sock when I finish this sock. Um, I'm going to do my nephew's sock, the one where I'm going to do the contrast cuffs and then knit a giant tube and then contrast toes and then split it and then do the other cuff and toe. I think that's my plan because it'll just be stocking up forever which is really great for when I'm walking so at my work or at the gym I have also been working on this sock this is my advent calendar from the cozy knitter and I actually recorded a little bit about this project earlier today while I was at school. So I will insert this that here. I am super close to the heel on the sock. I just need to finish this color. So I don't know, finish it this afternoon. So this morning I brought with me two squares to undo, undo the bind off so I can use this yarn in the heels. Could I use my fresh balls of yarn for the heel? I absolutely could, but I know I'm going to have leftovers of the bind off rounds. So I figured I'll just do this. It's fine. It's only going to be, you know, a handful of extra ends to weave in, but yay me. This is where it was when you saw it on Sunday. So with those two squares, I was able to get almost the whole heel. Um, this sock is a 64 stitch sock and I usually do 56 now for myself but the other socks um, that I've knit using the cozy knitter advent skeins have all been 64 so I made this one a 64 also if this was my normal 56 stitch sock I think I could have gotten pretty much the entire heel out of the two um, ripped out bind off rows but it's fine. I'll just pull back the bind off on another square and then start sewing those squares together today. But that's how far I am. I am, did I tell you that I'm one or two round rows away from finishing the heel flap and then I just have to do the heel turn and then I can pick up the gusset on these and, um, and continue on. So this is <laughs> This is where I was when I showed you this morning, where I was. So I probably will just move it to the gusset after I pick up gusset stitches and that'll be my next progress marker for you. No, I guess I could put it on the heel flap since that would be more accurate. Um, and you probably have guessed that I have also been working pretty diligently on my blanket my big miter square blanket so let me show you the border first so do 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 
boom, corner one. I know I already told you that I did corner one, but it's exciting for me, so. Boom, boom, ba -doo, boom, ba -doo. boom, ba boom. My alarm interrupted us. So this is side two, and this is the halfway point. So I've passed, I've passed the halfway point on side two, and I'm pretty close to that corner. I really, really think that I can finish this this week because that means that I have two sides plus this much to put a border on. And are you ready? Are you going to be so excited? I'm so excited. On the other side of the blanket, I have BAM! I have two squares to go and I'm going to do one this evening. So tomorrow I will knit the final square on this blanket. Amazing. I'm so excited. So yeah, I totally think I can finish this by the end of January. That is my goal. And then once I finish this, uh, I have been working on other blankets while I've been working on this, but I was talking with my friend Haley of the ring light glory and she um no i was we were discussing i was discussing i don't know i decided that this blanket finished this month next month i should be able to finish my green and blue blanket because all i have left is um sashing and bordering and we were we were discussing because I'm getting really close to the end of the ball that's attached. Like there are yards attached. Um, I don't think I can get all the way across a row right now because the row spans the entire width of the blanket. I don't think I can get one across one of those right now. And Haley had ordered me a skein of pebble a while ago because she's amazing. And I was like, did I already attach that to the blanket? I can't remember. Turns out I didn't, so I found that. So that's exciting. I'm going to take this to the shop on Saturday and wind it up and start working on that blanket. Um, the current section I'm in, I only need four more rows, so two garter ridges, and then just a little more work, but I'll show, I'll show you that probably this weekend, maybe. When I finish this, I will show you what I still have to do on that. Um, but yeah, so I want to finish this this month. I want to finish that next month. My best friend's birthday is in March and she's getting the little mitered square blanket. So I'd like to finish that by her birthday, which is at the end of the month. And then my boyfriend's birthday is in April and it's the 20th. So I kind of want to finish the corner to corner blanket by then. think I can meet all of these goals. Um, I don't know how many squares I need to do on my best friend's blanket. I'm planning on figuring that out this week so that I can give you kind of a end of the month total for that one. Maybe also for the corner to corner. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to give you like a, a full check-in with the blankets, but I thought maybe those two could be good. And obviously the one that I want to finish next month. So four blankets, but not all 11 blankets. Um, maybe I'll do a full check-in after the first quarter. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far yet. But I think it should be doable. I was for a while there doing three squares a day on that blanket at school. So if I can regain that momentum even if I just do two squares a day at school, if I can regain that momentum and put squares into that blanket, like I was putting into this blanket, I was doing one square in the morning and one square in the evening, then that's four squares a day. So I should be able to do that. Finish that blanket by um, March. I only had 260, 70 squares to go at the beginning of the year and I've definitely been adding to it, but I think that 
um, what's 270 divided by 4? 270 divided by 2 is 135 divided by 2 again is 72.5. So do I have 72.5 days? No, I have a little bit less than that. I should be good. I'm sorry if you were counting and I did that math on the fly and you were counting. Sorry. Um, do I have anything else to tell you about? I'm still reading my Monticello. It's going okay. I don't know what page I'm on, so I can't even tell you where I'm at, but um, still hoping to finish it this week and start reading The Archer again. That is my plan. Oh, I have my Monticello right here. I didn't realize. I thought it was in my bedroom. Hold on. So my Monticello, I am on page 147. There are 205 pages. So I'm going to get to reading this. I'm going to get to working on the square and I will check in with you guys at some point later in the week. Bye friends. Hello friends. Happy Thursday night. I am just dropping by to show you a couple very important milestones on this blanket. This right here is the final square. All of the squares are finished and I just turned the corner, the second corner. So two sides are completely bordered too. I'm beyond excited about that. Um, I really think that I will be able to finish this by the end of the month. I only have to border two sides. Uh, it's possible that I won't be able to do that because I will, it's an Ohio weekend, so I will be driving a big chunk of tomorrow, like no evening knitting time. Um, so whatever I get done before work tomorrow is all I'm getting done on this border but, um, and then again, Sunday, same thing I'll be driving, but I'll have the morning Sunday to work on the border and then before and after work on Saturday. So yeah, I think I can do it as long as I work on it diligently. It's not going to be the only thing I work on because I would hate everything, <laughs> but it doesn't take that long. So yeah, we'll see what I can do tomorrow, but I am going to go to bed now and I will, um, I'll probably see you next on Saturday. Good morning, sunshines. Happy Saturday. So I just watched, well, I didn't really watch. I just listened to a 15 minute vlog um, so very unscientifically, I can do three and a teeny bit bind off in about 15 minutes. I have 31 edges still to do, like 31 square edges. So if I'm doing the math correctly, that's about um, 10, 15 minute sessions, which is Oh, I'm going to math. So if you're counting, maybe pause. So that's 10, 15 minute sessions, which means that if I were to sit down and do this all in one sitting, which I'm not going to do because, ew, um, it would be about two and a half hours of I-cord, um, I-cord work. I'm not going to do that, but I think I can probably between today and tomorrow find 10, 15 minute chunks. And I'm not necessarily going to just do it that way. I might just decide, okay, I'm going to finish off a square and then go about my business. That makes it seem so much more doable. So I'm really hopeful that I can finish this before I go pick up kiddos tomorrow. Wish me luck. 
Also, I have to clean my table. Look at my nest. That's ridiculous. I need to take care of that box. I need to take care of all of this stuff. My gym bag does live there, so that stays, but like everything else, not everything else has to go. It just is a hot mess. That's Mara's portable toy box laundry basket that she did not put away before she went to her dad's. So yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be working on this, working on my, ooh, let me show you. All right, so my plans this morning, clean off that table, work on this border, and work on this sock. This is my, um, what is this? Advent calendar for from Cozy Knitter. I found the tag. Is it in this bag still? It is down at the bottom, I think. Yes, right there. Okay. So the Cozy Knitter 2021 Advent skein. This is where I am. I have 38 rounds to go until the toe. So I also think I can finish this this weekend. And I finished my, um, my, my rainbow socks. I will show you those later though, because I don't have them right here with me, but I finished those yesterday. So yay me. Um, my hope to get my January cast-ons finished before the end of the month looks really, really likely. And I am super excited for that because um, I'm going to check in with you from the yarn shop later with, you know, when there's light and stuff, um, with some February plans because um, I'll show you there because I'm going to wind the yarn there because the setup is already there instead of having to set up my ball winder and swift at home. I don't know where my ball winder is, by the way. I only know where the center portion is, which is not helpful. I do know where my swift is, but I don't know where my ball winder is. So much easier just to do it at the yarn shop though, because it's already set up. All right, friends, check in with you later. All right, sunshine, so we are at the yarn shop and I said I would check in with you about these socks. So, ba ba They are finished. I will put in a cute picture here of what they look like. Again, I was sitting, or I was getting things set up. No dishes, no dishes. There's a Chinese restaurant right there. <laughs> so, um, anyway, yeah, these socks were you knit using Knit Picks Felici in the Cloudy with a Chance of Rainbows colorway with a contrast heel in Barocco socks. I bought a second skein of this to finish a pair of socks for one of my nephews, and so now I'm just kind of using it for toes and stuff. And then I will check in with you about my other sock tomorrow probably when I have progress on it or maybe have it finished fingers crossed but what I do have to check in with you about is books so I just realized that I have four books that are due back to the library on February 7th they are I don't have them with me I'll put in a picture right here. Um, the Archer, In Every Mirror She is Black, Sisters in Arms, and Undercover Attraction. I'm still reading my Monticello, but I only have 15 pages left, so I'm going to finish this today and then hopefully work on, work on, <laughs> read some more in The Archer and maybe start one of the other books. <sighs> I figured out page counts for all of them. So for the Archer, I have 210 pages to go. I'm gonna do numbers. If you're counting, 
maybe pause, sorry. Um, for the Archer, I have 210 pages to go. In Every Mirror She's Black has 398 pages. Sister in Arms has 372 pages. And Undercover Attraction has 328 pages. So I added that all up and I figured out that counting tomorrow but not counting today, if I read like how many pages a day I would need, it's not a number I can obtain. <laughs> Um, it would be 145 pages a day. If this was summer, that would be doable, but that's not doable now. So my plan is to read The Archer, start probably, hmm, probably Sisters in Arms tonight also, and then, um, and see if I can get through those two and maybe in every mirror she is black. I don't think that I'm going to get to undercover attraction, but that's okay because that's just a book that I picked up um, on a on a whim and it's I'll just put it on my summer reading list. It's a uh, like a mafia romance book. So it's fine. So the other thing that I have to talk about are my February plans. Um, I'm pretty excited for what I intend to make. So I took a picture this morning of all of the yarns together and I'll put that in here. And I am super excited for this February make list. So let's, I'm hoping to have all of those yarns like mostly knit up and hopefully close to out of stash because if I do then that will be one, two, three skeins out of the 25 that I wanted to get out of my stash. Um, so far January I haven't done that yet because I still have leftovers of the projects that I've knit and I want the stuff to be completely gone. So um, I have just a little nugget left maybe it's definitely not a whole pattern repeat of this yarn um, it might be like four colors so that'll be easy to use up hopefully I can do that today or tomorrow so that I can you know uh, officially have one skein out of my stash and then I have quite a big chunk left from the cabin at Christmas socks that I did. I have a lot of that left over so I'm trying to decide if I want to split it up. Um, it's a self-striping yarn so it's not as easy to trade with people. Um, I might weigh it and see how much it is and maybe do a shorty sock. I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that. So September plans. I am going to make my niece a pair of mitts using this mini skein set. It's a full rainbow. I've misplaced the blue. I don't know where I misplaced the blue. Uh, I think maybe it accidentally fell out of the bag and I thought it was just a blue in my stash and knit it into blankets. To substitute something else for the blue I think. Uh, I will look around a little bit more see if I can find it but I really feel like I probably used it in a scrappy blanket. So I'm going to start with the purple and I am going to do what are they switchback mitts? I don't even know my own pattern name but um, they're they're very similar to the Ridgeback socks um, but I am not going to use a contrast yarn with them. So I'm thinking, thinking I'm going to do one pattern repeat in each color and that should give like a pretty, I think the pattern repeats are like this long. So yeah, that should give a pretty good fingerless mitt length for my niece. Um, so that's my first project.
project. And then I have already caked up this beautiful yarn from, hold on, let me see. Doo -doo. Lavender Loon. It's not going to come out. It's not going to come out. <laughs> but um, this is going to be a design. So I'm thinking of doing a thing that I haven't done before, which is design vlogs over on Patreon. So kind of like this, you know, the weekly vlog, but just about the design things because I don't really talk about those on the vlog as I'm doing them. But I think that I'm going to do that over there as like paid content because I have a few designs coming down the, um, the pipeline. So yeah, I think that would be cool. Um, I am also planning on knitting this up. I am fairly certain, though I will correct myself right here if I'm wrong, um, that this is intended to be a hat for one of Patrick's brothers. I let Patrick choose yarn out of my stash for all of his family projects. So yeah, that's, um, I'm going to use this game. I'm pretty sure it was set aside for a hat for a brother. And it's Madeline Tosh. Um, and what is this? Tosh Marina Light. Yeah. This has been in my stash for ever, a very long time. Um, since Kentucky, I believe. <laughs> And I've been in Michigan for almost six years, like back in Michigan for almost six years. Okay, so these two, oops, these two yarns are going to be for the same project. Um, this is the yarn that Haley sent me to use in my green and blue blanket, mitered square blanket. I'll put in a picture here. Um, I said that I would show you er, earlier this week. I said I would show you what it looks like, but it basically looks like that picture because are you really going to be able to tell the difference of four garter ridges added onto the edge right somewhere around here? I imagine it is in the picture. I don't know. I'll put an arrow pointing. Probably not. So I didn't bother bringing it in to do all that. Um, so I just, I need to do the sashing and stuff. And I'm sure that this is enough for the sashing. I don't know that this is enough for the sashing and the border. So at the yarn shop, we have we placed an order for La Jolla, but the um, the lady who owns it or dies for it, I don't exactly know. Um, she got COVID a couple months ago, so like they're really backlogged and stuff, and we don't know when we're getting more of this in. I really want to finish this blanket in February. So I am going to do the border in this, which is Mano Stel Uruguay Allegria. And it's a little bit darker than the La Jolla Pebble, but I think it like, I think it will make sense for the outside border. Um, I'm planning to do something similar to what I'm doing for my barn raising square blanket, which is like a five stitch, garter ridge with um, with I-cord on the edges and then I don't know if I'm just gonna do five rows back and forth like five long garter ridges on the edges I think I probably am you'll see it when it's done but yeah that's my plan for the blanket I have a stand-in <laughs> for my photo and stuff um, it's nearly identical to this, but you can see the skein has a little bit of purple in it, and the yarn that I'm using, the colorway, doesn't have purple, it's just all grays and blues. And I'm gonna make my nephew some tube socks using, I'm, I'm going to use this for the cuffs and the toes, and then, um, so I'm gonna cast on with this do a cuff and then I'm going to knit with this until it's gone and then I'm going to put a toe on and then I'm going to split um, split the tube and do a cuff and toe 
on the appropriate sock. So I'm gonna do that next month. And then the last project is this Knit Picks Felici in the Rustic Cabin colorway. These are gonna be my first pair of socks for Patrick because my goal is to make 12 pairs and I didn't do any in January, so I should probably get on that. And um, these count as two balls of stash out, so that's exciting. <laughs> and those are my February plans, so I will see you tomorrow to check in on those socks and wrap up. Hello, sunshines. It is evening time. Um, coming in on 7. I'm not exactly sure how close it is to 7, but it's not quite there yet. Anyway, I have finished the third side on this blanket. And so I only have one side left to go. The goal to finish this by tomorrow seems very doable. Um, yeah. I think I can do it. The last side is one of the longer two sides, but I I feel confident that this blanket can be finished tomorrow. Um, I finished the two ridges that I needed on my other part of the green and blue blanket, so I'm going to pick up stitches along this next um, piece to work on so that I can keep up momentum on this blanket. And then I did some math. I did about 48 squares. No, I did exactly 48 squares um, in the past month on this blanket, which is the blanket for my best friend, um, but I still have 200, 265 squares, I want to say, to go, so not counting today, I don't think. Um, it, it works out to be just, or, just about, or, oh my goodness, it works out to be about five squares a day in order to finish this by the end of March, not including the border and stuff. So I'm going to start a square and hopefully make good progress on that square. Um, and it has to be five squares every single day, not just five squares on school days or five squares only on weekends. So that seems a little daunting. Um, if I don't finish in March, it's okay. But I would like to. So I'm going to try. So I had been doing a square in the morning and in the evening on this mitered square blanket. And those squares are about 45 minutes. So I'm thinking that I can reasonably devote 30 minutes in the morning to this blanket and then devote the evenings to this blanket. And I think 30 minutes on this blanket um, should get me close. So I finished my Monticello um, it was okay. I don't know. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. And the overall feel of the book, this was a debut book. And, um, I don't know. It was okay. The first short story was so, so good. And then the rest of it was fine. It wasn't terrible. So now I'm reading The Archer again. And... I think that it's, I think I'm to the point where it has picked up. Um, the last 15 or so pages have been more engaging than the previous parts of the book, so yeah, it should be good. I am also, though, listening to the, what's it called? The Shadow Rising, the fourth book in the Wheel of Time series. I finished 
the third book yesterday while driving and started the fourth. So I'm going to listen to that now while I pick up these stitches because I can't pick up stitches and read at the same time. Oh, wish me luck. I'm trying really hard to make blanket progress tonight because tomorrow there will be a lot of driving. I mean, I'll have the morning, but I, I won't have any of the afternoon or evening to work. Do you know what this means? Do you know? This is the very end of my border. I just have to Kitchener these two things together and this blanket is finished. What? I'm so excited. And then I'll have, what, like four ends to take care of? And that's it? Okay, so I knew that I was going to finish it this month, but like the fact that I'm actually finishing this month feels incredible. Ba -da -ba -da. Here it is, all finished. So exciting. So you know what that means. Another prize. I will draw that in editing and put it in here. Oh my gosh, friends, I am so proud of myself <laughs> for finishing this blanket. First blanket finish of the year, hopefully one of five. Hello, sunshines. So it's Sunday evening time. The sun is setting over there. I am in a parking lot waiting for my kiddos to be dropped off. Um, I have about 20 minutes before the meeting time. So, I am going to knit on the, um, the blue and green blanket a little bit and read some of the Archer while I wait under my heated blanket because it is very chilly. <laughs> I haven't turned the heat on the heated blanket yet, but I will if I need to. I've only had my car off for a minute, so it's not yet that cold, but yeah. Um, I am going to close out the vlog here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and um, and I'm really going to try to finish another blanket next month. So for sure one prize drawing next month. So get your, your um, posts in, you know, your, your entries, get them in. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave any questions or comments below. I love chatting with you all. And if you want to see more of the same again, um, please subscribe. I'm totally distracted by these people next to me. It's okay. Um, yeah, I will, I will see you for me tomorrow for you next week. <laughs> Bye friends. Oh wait, you guys want to hear something that has me a little shaking in my boots. My one-on-one -on -one kiddo is not going to be in school tomorrow or the day after, which means I'm probably going to be subbing. So I'm going to try really, really hard to get my five squares knit tomorrow but it's gonna be really really hard <laughs> subbing in the classroom all right I will see you all next week <laughs> bye friends
Welcome to Bunny Fish Crafts. I'm your host Heather, known as Bunny Fish on Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Today is Wednesday, the 26th of January, 2022, and this is episode four. How are you? I am recording. Okay, I'll see you at seven. Okay, bye. Bye. I can. Or you just gonna leave it in so that they can find it from you. So. I haven't decided. <laughs> I might just leave it. Okay. Okay, let's try again. And so, hmm. don't miss the stages. 